Hi guys! So before the Christmas season, I want to get this book haul out, um, the book haul that I have been hoarding for <laughs> a while. Almost all these books came from the same place. Um, I have recently been working at a bookstore in Flatirons Mall by my house um, called Second and Charles. It's a uh, almost entirely used everything, games, movies, books. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in a previous book haul before. Um, but we do get new stuff occasionally. Um, and we do also have book signings and um, try and help um, local authors and self-publishers. So we have um, stuff from them as well. We do buy books from self-published and new authors, which is really exciting for me. Um, we'll do book signings with them. It's great. Um, so almost all these books came from there. And so they're all secondhand and previously loved, so they're not necessarily in the best condition. <laughs> um, but they're totally new to me. Okay, so the only book that I did not purchase there, um, I got from Target, of course, my other workplace, um, for a dollar from the Halloween, um, like, dollar spot, um, Bullseye's Playground is what it's called now. Um, but they have, like, a bunch of these little short stories for just, like, a couple bucks, um, that are, like, Halloween related. And I got The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, um, which is something that's been on my to-buy list, or to-read list for, I don't, since I got Goodreads. <laughs> Um, it, The Time Machine is one of the better, um, old-timey, paranormal, Twilight zone -y type of books. <laughs> um, so The Time Traveler has, like, a fancy dinner and invites a bunch of people over, um, and he tells them what the future is like. You know, is there peace, um, total destruction, what's going on with that? Um, so that's really cool. Like, I can't say anything else. Like, he just has dinner and tells them about future, about the future. There's, like, the gentle Eloy, um, above ground. And then below ground is the Morlocks, I believe. Yeah, so this guy, I might have to read it next year for Halloween. This next book, um, I saw someone bring it in and I grabbed it right then and there. Cat Speak. Um, I read it <laughs> in like three hours. I mean, I, I didn't read cover to cover. Um, my cats are fairly well behaved, um, so I didn't need to read most of the um, like case histi history of aggression and stuff like that. Um, the only time that they've ever been aggressive at all was when we first moved them in here, and that was because they did not <laughs> know what was happening. Um, it's just like behaviors that cats have um, and like their general preferences. I mean all animals are going to be different um, but it's their general preferences for how they would like to have things go. So these next two books are just continuations or the next three books are just continuations of the same series by James Patterson, um, the Maximum Ride series that they're now making a movie out of. So I don't know what happened to my angel experiment. I think I lent it to someone and they never gave it back. That sounds probable. So I rebought that one, which is just, I mean, um, so this whole series is about, um, six kids that escape from an experimental facility, um, where they've been fusing human DNA with animals to try and make weird hybrids. So they fuse, I think it's dog or wolf, um, same basic DNA with humans and that's their like security. <laughs> um, so these kids just happen to be mixed with um, birds. So they have like weird hollow bones um, and larger pectoral muscles for flapping um, but their wings actually come from their back like an angel as opposed to this motion. Um, so it's a strange, I'm not sure physically how that works but I mean it's James Patterson, whatever. So this is the first one, I think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, and then these are the last-ish ones. Um, Nevermore and Angel. 
he said the final warning was going to be the, the fourth book was going to be the last book and here we are like five more later yeah so this is number eight um and this is number seven and i have the rest of them um already um and then these two are another series um but a better series because food <laughs> so um i saw cupcake heaven and I was like, hey, that's like a giant thing of cupcakes. And Valerie and I are trying to learn more about cupcakes, especially like healthy banana cupcakes and things that aren't going to kill us if we eat too much of them. But she has a cupcake book and now I have a cupcake book and they actually have like almost entirely different recipes. <laughs> um, so like they have the basic cupcakes, um, but it also goes on about like which equipment um, and why you should use certain ingredients and like high altitude baking advice and stuff. Um, and then like decorating, what's the best way to decorate and, and what flavors to use with what. Um, and then it starts off with like classic cupcakes like vanilla, chocolate, um, fudge, stuff like that. Then, um, to make my boyfriend feel better because I was buying cupcake heaven, <laughs> um, I got breakfast heaven as well to make him breakfast with and I, I haven't done that yet <laughs> um but it's got like everything like um how I mean and again this goes through an introduction with like how to make the best pancakes um and stuff like that they have like smoothies um that's all drinks cereals muffins pancakes bread spreads um they're both by Deborah Gray and edited by, oh, or this one's by Deborah Gray and Cupcake Heaven is by Jenny Milsom. All right, so I guess we're done. Um, so this may be the shortest book haul that I've ever done because it's really like two books and then two series, so like four things. <laughs> um, that's like really easy. I mean, I've only been recording for like 15 minutes. This is ridiculous. I've this has never happened to me in my life. It's kind of exciting. I set aside like an hour. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Um, I will have another video out by the end of the week, probably. <laughs>